Hi everyone, I am actually cooking grits and uh, mackerel croquet. They call it salmon croquet, but you, you can use salmon or mackerel. Um, I'm starting off with these grits because these grits, I had boiled the grits and I put a little milk in there. And as they do that, you have to actually stay on top of these grits because if you don't, they'll start popping or they'll boil over. And you need to turn it down low because these grits don't play, okay? They don't play. They do not play. And as we cook the grits, we're going to actually stir it, you know, stir it as you go. But I wanted to explain to you about these mackles over here. Okay? I actually put a can of mackle in, a, in, the, in the bowl. You got to drain it first. I put two eggs. You only put two eggs right there. And then you put the two eggs in there. You put a pinch of meal, maybe maybe another pinch of meal on top of your mackerel, your two eggs, okay? And then you put a little onion. If you like onions, you put a little onion. Put a little onion in, in your mackerel. You'll do that, all right? And uh, see, I'm stirring the grits. I'm stirring the grits. You got to stir the grits. And what you do, I put a little salt in there, okay? A little salt. Then I put a little accent, okay? Put a little accent in there because that is what gives my food a little flavor. Accent. See that? All right. If you don't want an accent, you don't have to use accent. If you don't want onions in your food, you don't have to use onion in your food. But I'm going to place this mackerel. I know this grease is hot. That grease is hot. I'm going to place one of those mackerels that I've already cooked. See these mackerels? I've already cooked them. All right. I'm just letting you know you just need a little pan of grease to cook the mackerels. All right? And once they cook to your desired um, color, you flip it over. All right? This has already been pre-cooked. I just want to give you an example of how I cooked it because I wasn't able to actually show you how I cooked it because I had to end that video because these grits, you know, they, they wanted more attention. It was like, baby, hey, leave me alone. Monitor what you do with me. You know how I am. I'm jealous. So, you know, I had to, you know, kind of actually start the grits, a new pot of grits, you know. But as your, your mackerel cooks and it's finished cooking, you take it out the grease and you put it in, in, in your little strainer. Let it drain, okay? And that's what you do. I'm turn this mackerel grease off. And uh, you wait for your grits to finish cooking. They're cooking down. You know, these grits, you got to kind of make sure you pay attention to them because if you don't, they'll just start burning. And I think I need a little bit more water in my grits, so I'm going to put a little bit more water in these grits. And my first video was awesome because I was able to pour the mackerel. I was able to pour the mackerel in, um, in the bowl, you know, looking all good, step by step, until these grits start burning so i had to cut that video short yeah i had to cut it short but i'm gonna run the routine back down to you again you need a can of mackerel okay or a can of salmon you pour the juice off because it's filled with juice you pour that out and you dump you dump the mackerel or the salmon in the bowl okay and then what you do you get two eggs you get two eggs and you put two eggs in the bowl with the salmon, okay? Then you put onions. See this onion? You can get sweet onion, you can get yellow onion, white onion, whatever onion you want, but you can put that in there. If you don't want onion, you don't have to have onion, all right? You don't have to have onion. See these grits? These grits don't play, baby. Got the grits cooking. You gotta really monitor these grits, baby, because if you don't, they will see how they look when they start cooling down you can see them coming together you can see them coming together they're not they're not quite there yet i don't have to cook so much right now because i'm just showing you an example of what i'm cooking for me all right okay oh this skillet out the way this is what i cooked the uh mackerel in. you don't have to have much grease see how that's little oil you don't have to have a lot you don't have to have a lot. See that little oil? But yeah, as I was saying, 
your mackerel, your onion. Um, then the other ingredient that I, I don't know if I told you, you put a pinch of uh, meal in there, okay? Put your seasoning, salt and pepper, your little accent. And what you do, you just massage. You massage it all in there, okay? Massage it all in there. Once you got it good and saturated with the egg, because the egg is what holds it together in the meal. So once you got it saturated, see, I couldn't put my camera down because I needed this camera to hold and show you what's going on. I took it and rolled into a ball, okay? Then I put it in there. Then I smashed it with this flipper here, all right? But you got to make sure your grease is hot before you put that in there. You don't want no greasy food. So I actually put that mackerel back in the grease. I probably should have just explained it to you guys without putting it back in there, but it's okay. You get the drift. So once it cooks, once the um, mackerel cooks, you take it out. And you drain it, okay? You drain it, just like I've done here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's gotta be firm, so when you, if you wanna pick a, pick a fork and you know, if it sits up in there on that fork like that, you know you've done your thing, look at that. Look at that. Yes, ma'am, and you don't have to cook these long either. You don't have to cook them long. That's that one I put back in the grease. I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys. You don't have to cook it long. That one can can feed two people. Because, you, you know, depends on how thick you want your mackerel, how many you want. So this, I got one, two, three, four, five mackerels out of that can. You know? So you can you, you can eat good off a can of mackerel. So you ain't, people tell me they're starving. <laughs> Improvise. You got to know what you need to do. Like I improvised when I had the camera in my hand, I had to roll the mackerel and, and, and then put it in the grease and flatten it with the spatula. I was improvising, dear. I sure was. So as I um, finish up here, put this in here. All right. I'm going to go back over here to my grits, but I'm going to put this milk and stuff up. You know, as I like to kind of put things away. So it won't be so cluttery in my area as I cook. I'm gonna put a little butter. Boom. I'm gonna put a little butter on my grits. It's like a lot of butter. I'm gonna put a little butter on these grits. All right, you see that? I know you see them grits. I know you see that butter. I think you can see. See that? Don't that look good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see them grits? Look at that. See how it's oozing down? That's going to go quite well with my mackerel. Okay? Put a little butter on your grits. All right? And I got a toast here that I got over here in the toaster. Right here. It's got a little butter on it. You know, if you want butter, you can. Go ahead and toast that. If you want butter with, I mean, if you want to toast with your mackerel, you can. It's almost like breakfast. You got breakfast at night. I like to eat breakfast food at night I really do I don't know why but I do okay so that is how you make mackerel okay guys that is how you make mackerel one-on-one my mother taught me how to do that my mother taught me how to do that and then that is how you make grits okay you make grits and mackerel Right there. Combination. Okay. I think you guys want me to put that on a bowl, right? No, sir. I'm, not, I'm talking about a plate. You would like me to plate that? I'm going to plate it up. I'm going to plate it up. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to plate it up. Let you take a look at it. Alright. Got this one hand working with this camera, guys. I'm going to put two pieces of mackerel on this plate. Okay. I'm going to actually I really would like to put this in a little bowl. 
but I don't have a little bowl right now. So, I got a different plate for the I got a different plate, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. I'm gonna put my mackerel, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna put my mackerel in this, on this bowl-like plate, okay? All right. And then I'm gonna have to pour these grits because I can't, I got one hand. So I'm going to have to pour these oozing grits onto this plate. See that? Yeah. Let me scoop a little bit more of those grits out because I think I I can get, get the rest of this out of here. Pour these grits out. See that? I'm going to plate them grits. All right. Then, I got my toast. Did I burn it up, guys? Oh, I think I did good. Look at that. Golden brown toast. And let me cut that so it can be presentable. You know, presentation is key. I always told you guys. Presentation is key. Okay? Presentation is key. So, I'm going to cut this toast. You know... In this way, cut it like a square, you know, rectangle. Am I saying that correctly? Not a rectangle. Cut it in half. Let me say that because I don't want to confuse nobody. Okay. All right. And then you put your toast on there like like that. Okay. And look, guys. I have. Simon and grit. You see that? I have Simon and grit. That is a, that is what I prepare for myself tonight. Simon and grit. Okay. So if you ever want to learn how to make Simon, actually review this video. And uh, being that I only had one hand, I think I did quite well. <laughs> You, you want to review this, review this video, and if you like it, like and subscribe, and actually hit the notification button, so if I have any other uh, cooking videos or any, any videos that I do on YouTube, uh, you guys can get notifications of anything that I have coming up, whether it be cooking, hair, um, clothing, uh, any funny stuff, pranks, or anything like that, I don't know about any pranks. But, uh, you know, anything that's a fun or something that you want to share uh, with the YouTubers, uh, people on YouTube, um, you will be notified about that. But I want to thank you for chiming in, sitting here, and uh, taking the time to uh, go through this video and understand what it is I do to actually make mackerel. But uh, I don't want to delay this any further. I'm going to go ahead and get me something to eat. And actually, you can use some grape jelly to put on your plate to, to put on your toast. But this is how you make Mackle about guys, you do the same thing for uh, Simon. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll be talking with you soon. And uh, smooches, good night. <laughs>